Hey guys, another day in the Heimlich Hot Rod Garage. So, today we got something a little different. Today we got this 37 uh, Ford slant in here. Uh, just gonna get a little bit of electrical work done to it, adding some things. So show you around the car. Small block Chevy. It's a very nice, very nicely done car. Shaved door handles. Very nicely done car. So he's got an issue with his license plate. It's a vacuum actuated. It's supposed to fold up when you turn the car off. That's not working. Um, he did have a running light that wasn't working, but that seems to be working now. And he had a horn issue when he'd be driving down the road. Sometimes the horn would go off. So I'm gonna try and figure out a few of these electrical bugs and uh, get this guy going. All right, so I'm working on this license plate. It's starting to retract, but it's gonna need some sort of a blow off valve so when the vacuum of the motor shuts off it springs up so we're gonna make a little relief valve here let's see what do we got what do we got to work with it's a pretty small vacuum line so we're gonna have to use some small stainless there we go a piece that'll work drill a hole just leave it and I'll show you how this works. This is a brand new bit. Should make a good pile of holes. We'll see. Probably break it, but we'll see. Amazing what a new bit will do. I want to make that hole bigger, a little bigger if I can. Well, you know what, actually, I think I'm just going to make two holes instead of making that one bigger. The diameter of the pipe's not much bigger than that, anyways, so. slow when you're dealing with stainless it gets real hot and fries your bits really easy so right, I'm gonna clean this up real quick so I'll show you what I'm gonna do right, I'm gonna show you kind of where we're going here so drilled a couple holes in that this fits on there perfectly like it's not tight it's not loose so it fits really nice so I went and Cut it like that. And where those two holes are. We'll place that right over the top there. And I'll put a zip tie or something on there. So it relieves the pressure when you're blowing on it. But when vacuum's being pulled, it should be good. So we're gonna test this thing and see if it works. Seems like it's gonna work. Let's try this again. Going. There it is. Well, it doesn't return as fast as I'd like it to, but we can't fart around with this thing forever, so it's working and uh So we got the steering wheel off now, and there's a little clip down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
So I uh, just made this real quick. Stick this on here like so. push that down, I can take a pick, it's really hard to see what happens with my hand, it's actually really hard to do with my hand, but suspected there's our wear through right there there's our short and it's right down there where the knuckles at as usual so instead of fixing these I might just get a switch it's only like 30 bucks put a little switch in this thing so we'll see okay so we determined that this is bad and it'll be too hard to replace so I think what we're gonna do. Oh, that was quick. All right. So we got a brand new one. Let's throw this in and see if it works. All right. So horn's working good. A little more tilt horn. Our blinkers are working, except for this LED is intermittent, which he said that was like that before. I don't know if it's the LED itself or what's going on there. So I have to get deeper for that one, but he's not worried about that right now. He just doesn't want his horn going off driving down the road. So there we go. So that's what happens in California when the weather starts getting warm. Everybody wants their hot rods running, so. They bring it to me and I get them going. This thing's all done, ready to rock. This thing's a runner and a driver. And I'll seal this thing up and we'll have it back in next week and be ripping that thing around. So, still have a lot more. They're pulling the body off of the other 37 I built today. Um, they're down there at the body shop doing that right now. And then they're gonna get the frame all ready. So, the 56 is at the body shop getting painted right now. That'll be back soon. And I still have all the body mods to do on the black truck. So, plenty full schedule here. We, we got work. We got plenty of work. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, subscribe, like, share. And keep coming back. And hopefully we'll have these things out on the road and doing some smoke shows soon.